What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? Real TNK squad back again with another thoughts and opinions video. It's your boy Travis, check it in. And it is your girl Kiana, aka Queen Key, out in this thing. Thing! Off in this thing! That's how you gotta do it. Anyway, do I need to show you some videos of how people think you have to do it? Mm -mm. Anyway. I do it how I do it. <laughs> so, uh. Y'all, people, people was hitting us up in the comment section and on Instagram, all in our comments, asking us to check out this video and react to it. And it's... Um, we don't do reactions. We definitely don't do reactions to the YouTube no more and stuff like that. But we decided to look at it. Like, I really... I haven't watched too many, any of these videos of... I really don't watch DDG videos like that. Mm. And especially the ones with um his little nephew, uh, Woo Wop, the little boy. I just don't, I just can't see a three-year-old entertaining me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Watching a video of a three-year-old. But I happen to, you know, catch it once or twice, you know, him on the videos that they do or whatever. And so we watched this video that said, Woo Wop needs to be stopped. And basically everybody was pointing out how grown Woo Wop is, which is true. It's a fact, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The things that he was saying in the video. To me, and I'm not going to say you missed the point. But I think to me, people miss the real point of this video. I think this video shouldn't even been shot. Yeah, because this child was crying. I'm talking about breaking down hard, down crying. Like it made DDG look bad. Right. And and, and and not to say, you know, that's his nephew and he, you know, I'm gonna say he loves him. I mean, it's his brother's child. And he's done uh, several videos with him. But at some point, it makes you look like, what have you done wrong to him? I'm not saying in a sexual manner or nothing, but have you I, mistreated him? Have you did something wrong to him? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you got a whooping. Maybe you've whooped him and he wants to or something, but for some reason, that little boy don't want to mess with you no more. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to go with you. He don't want to be with you. He want to be with his dad. He don't like you. And But he told the dad, I think you should die too. You need to die. Yeah, he told DDG, I want you to die. For one thing, DDG has made it bad because he's played this game with him about this Kennedy thing. Mm -hmm. And little kids don't understand games when little, when, when women be like, oh, this is my little boyfriend. And it's, little kids don't understand games. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now he thinks that Kennedy is really his girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? He's three. Kennedy, that he doesn't understand Kennedy's And so when DDG plays with him like that and then comes back and this is my girl and stuff, he's upset now. You know what I'm saying? He really, really thinks Kennedy is his girlfriend. Um, I mean, it's, it's cute, but you know what I'm saying? That's not cute at all. I, I used to hate growing up and seeing, like, ladies do that with kids. Well, it's cute to a certain extent till you take it too far. Now they've taken it too far. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I think I think Wop is just, I think he's just in the presence of too many adults all the time. Like, for one, it's kind of weird to me that they use this three-year-old kid for mukbang videos. No, the sickening part about DDG video is when he told his brother, um, I just got to get him to take a thumbnail with a chicken nugget for a mukbang so I can get the CPMs anyway. Ba basically, basically, so, basically, so it doesn't look like a lie. So it doesn't appear to be clickbait. He told me, I'm going to go get him a four-piece chicken nugget. And uh, you know, sure. If I just give it, eat, just eat, just eat one, just bite one, then I I, I can eat CP in the store for for having mutt bang in the title. If y'all don't think that's conning your damn audience, conning YouTube, everything, that's sick. When you gotta use a three year old for views, but the bad part is their whole camp does it. Mm -hmm. I seen Flat go get him and and, and do a mutt bang video. I seen others in the crew go get this three year old and do mukbang, and that's maybe because, that's why he was crying. And he didn't want to go because he's tired of being he's used. He's tired of being used, maybe. I mean, because we, people gonna be like, he's only three, but he's a very smart three. Like he's 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 to me, he's one of the smartest little three olds I've seen on YouTube as far as how to actually comprehend comprehend. Yeah. And put the words together to put it back out to you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of kids that we saw, like CJ, like uh, Damien's little boy, uh, Bianca Damien's little boy, little DJ, a lot of them were three, and they they saw a lot, but they were still innocent three in the mind, kind of. He's kind of advanced. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He knows how to take it in and deliver it back to you at three. So it, it makes it worse to me that he's taking in so much knowledge from these adults. He's watching so many adult shows, adult stuff on YouTube, and he's always with them. He's never, to me, like I said, we don't see what go on, but hell, with them, you watch it everybody channel, so you do see what go on all during the day with them. Mm. So it's like he's always with adults. Never with kids. Never, with, never with children. So I, I, just, I just think that he need to take a step back and be a kid. You well, know what they I'm gotta saying? take a step back. Take him off. That's what I mean. Yeah, off of social media. Let him be a kid. Put him in a school around other kids. But you know what he is though? He's a money drawer. He draws money right now. Mm -hmm. and, and and not just for his father's channel. He draws money for DDG's channel. He draws money for other people. You know what I'm saying? Even Kennedy now. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a money puller right now. That's sad. Like, first of all, nobody could come to my my to my door, knock on my door, but hey, can I use your kid for a YouTube video? Fuck no. You know what I'm saying? Can I use your child for a mukbang? Hell no. That's creepy to me. Mm -hmm. Nephew, uncle, that's creepy to me. So I, I don't know, like, you know, him saying, and him saying, you know, I want you to die. To him, he's three. So I don't think there was no harm meant by it on his, in him. Because he didn't saying? really, under, I don't think he understood what he was saying. Yeah. He, he but at the same time, I think he did, though, because he asked him, if you was in a game, what would happen to you? So I think he understands. Yeah, he understands it. But, I mean, he doesn't, he understands what he's saying. But I don't think he really, really understands the consequences behind it. Like, I don't mm -hmm. think he understands that if he really dies, there's no, he's never coming back again. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As a child, I still don't think he, that still processes that. I understand. I said, I want you to die. The thing is now, I want you to die. So, like, you played this Kennedy game with him so much. He, he asked him, is it all because of Kennedy? Yes. So, basically, if you die, you'll leave me alone and I have Kennedy. And that's because you've been playing this game with him for so long. Mm. So that's like, if you leave, then I get Kennedy. You know what I'm saying? It really boils down to that. But like I said, the video, it was it was sick to me. It was like... I don't think... When he first started crying, I think DDG should have just cut the camera off and just called let, the let him go in. home. Let him go home. This like, be, he this was thing. crying. Like, like DDG was really trying to force him into this car. And he struggling. I mean, kicking and fighting and everything. Yeah. First of all, what the fuck is his car seat? He's three. Like, but like you said, when when DJ tried, tried to force him into the car, he was like really trying to put him in the car, and he was kicking and screaming, "If I don't want to go with you, I don't like you." Yeah, that was crazy. Like that really made you go, well, "What the hell going on?" Like, did he whoop him or something, or did he mistreat him? Or you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that's what he did, but it make you wonder when a child, when a child responds that way to you. Mm -hmm. I haven't never, I've never seen a child respond that way to me. It was that video was not a good look. It wasn't I was a good like, look. why did he put this up? And then when he said the die part, I was like, oh my goodness, why did this boy put this junk up? The video never would have made it. It would never made. Yeah, it would have made it up for me. And that was crazy. So I mean, a lot, a lot of people. Then he say, yo, you know what your son told me? He said he wished I died or this, something. This nigga laughed and said he told me the same thing. Let me show you. Like that's he said. No, he said, did you hit him? He like, no, nah, I ain't hit him. That's your kid. You, you should hit him. him, yeah. And he said, well, he told me the same thing. So I know it hurt your feelings because it, it hurt mine. Me. Like, what? But he was laughing like, the whole you, time. When he first told you that, that should have been the last time he told anybody that. Right. But like, even, you don't have to whoop children to get stuff across, but you should have, like, he's smart enough for you to tell Sit him. Sit down and explain. And not to say that right, anymore. Right, right. There was nothing done behind it, though. So it's like, I'm going to do it again. You know what I'm saying? He's so smart. I'm going to do it again. But y'all got him to my some, you can read this shit, no cap. All on the intro of the video and shit. That's what you said? Some y'all y'all can hear this shit, no cap. Mm-mm. That's sad. That's when it was like, what happens to this boy? You know what I'm saying? It was like, nigga. He said, he said I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm mean now. now. Like, what? They remind me of almost like a um, bankroll PJ type of thing. Yeah, but and then they had to take a step back and pull him back, though. You know what I'm saying? He was starting to be 
see, get seen too much, doing too much, being a grown up too. You know what I'm saying? They had to pull him back. It, it sounded cool at first. It was like, hold up, this ain't that cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Pull him back, pull him back, let him be a child. And I think you ain't seen Beryl PJ on the scene in damn near two years now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's now, you'll see him on the Instagram taking pictures, you know, with a little fresh outfit on, still looking fly going to school, but he's being a kid. Ever since that, they had that one problem where they was shooting and shit. And he almost like, got hit. They were like, hell no, it's time to pull, pull him back. back. Pull him back, yeah. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't have got that serious. Right. And hopefully don't get that serious with them. Not saying they in that type of thing, but it like where he starts saying some real off the wall shit. Right. And then you be like, oh shit. But that's why I think, that's why I said, I always say, just YouTube is not for children. And, and I don't mean on the watching side, I mean to be involved in it. And it, you know, when you're dealing with YouTube, it's your kids. You do what you want to with your kids. But there's always going to be an outcome that's going to make you think like, damn, what? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I shouldn't have did it. Right. You know, since, and, and, and it never fails. It's always going to be a situation like that. It's going to be like, eh, maybe we shouldn't have had him on the video or something. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. because a kid is gonna be a kid, and once they're exposed to that much stuff that kids don't be exposed to, it's gonna be a, a turnout that you're not happy with. Yep. Or well, people gonna start pointing stuff out like they did right. in this situation. Right, right. Because we wouldn't even knew about this if because I don't watch because I don't I it. don't watch DDG videos. For one, I think they're all manipulative. I think they're up to. I think all his videos are to manipulate a young audience. Um, it's pr- pretty much kind of like Fredo to me. Um, so I don't really watch DDG videos at all. I, I, sometimes I would catch it when y'all be like, tell us to react to a, a song when, when we was doing reactions. Mm-hmm. Other than that, we watch, I, didn't, I didn't watch DDG vlogs. Mm-hmm. Especially, I didn't watch videos of him and the Woo Wop. Like, I would see the title and be like, hell no. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not watching a three-year-old kid. What does what is that entertaining to me? I'm not doing it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? That's crazy. Mm. Like I said, I think I think the I think sometimes it ain't so important to get the views, especially when you've already made big money off of YouTube. I think sometimes you gotta know when to reel that back in and be like, you know what, trash that one. But these niggas don't trash nothing Mm-mm. because they want the money. Because I'm surprised he said that in the video about long as I have him eat a chicken nugget for the mukbang, then I get the CPM. Like, because people I'm don't, like, what? Because people don't see it that way. Like I said, he's the same person that told y'all, if I'm not getting paid for this shit, I'm not doing no video. Like when they was, when they was yellow flagging his videos and he was like, shit, if I ain't getting paid, or when they had the strike, and just tell you, well, if I'm not getting paid for this upload, I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. So he's already telling you that it's, it's it's about the money, which there's nothing wrong with that. Hell, we people that go to work, you go to work for the money, not because you just love to be at work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I hate when I hate when fans look at that as a problem, and then you, they make YouTubers they make YouTubers try to fix their words. Like if somebody say, "Yeah, it's sure about the money," but well, well, not really about the money. But no, nigga, it's about the money. Mm-hmm. Cause you ain't gonna be like, do you go to work for the money? Yeah. Well, not really for the money. No, do you go to work for the money? <laughs> like, yeah. I just think you should be cautious of what you do for the money right. on your platform. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now don't don't just start doing goofball shit for the money. You know what I'm saying? Don't start being a goofy for the money. Mm-hmm. Then it's like start turning into, oh, okay, they just set it out for the money now. You know what I'm saying? Like for instance. We getting a lot of motherfuckers asking us where the queen store is at. What we oh y'all scared y'all can't talk about her? It ain't that we scared and we can't talk about her. They don't learn not to put every fucking thing on YouTube. Have y'all know hold up, have y'all noticed YouTube pretty much even with queen stuff and a lot of stuff is dry right now. And it's dry not because people are scared to do videos. When they had our channel took down. It also opened their eyes too. You know what? They was they had a whole lot to talk about because we were showing a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. If we let me tell you something, my manager when I first had started doing music, right? I was dealing with this situation of of um somebody this dude that we was just be cool. And he tried to take this record and we did and um we was going back and forth. You know, beefing. I mean, talking about doing little radio interviews, everything. 
your little club management, promo club interviews, everything. And my manager pulled me back. He pulled me really back in and said, listen, we know the truth, right? I said, yeah, it was my record. He lied, tried to steal it and run off. And he said, listen, the people know the truth, too. When you, if you've listened to some of these DJs talk to you, they know the truth. He said, so my advice to you is, if you shut the fuck up, he don't have nothing else to talk about. If you be quiet, he'll die. You know what I'm saying? I learned that. I was like, from now on, I'm not get I'm not getting baited by no radio guys. I'm not because they're coming at bait you just to talk. I'm not gonna get baited to say nothing about him because if I don't say anything, he has nothing to talk about. The situation died. I moved on with my song. You know what I'm saying? And then, and the same thing, Queen them had to learn. If we don't give them something to talk about, mm -hmm. then they will have nothing to talk. She been doing videos lately on uh, damn uh, clothing hauls and behind the scenes stuff. Now it's almost like now you're forcing it if you do a video. Which I have seen a couple of people still out there trying to do some forcing shit and it ain't getting them nowhere. You know what I'm saying? When we did stuff on Queen, we did stuff because there was issues and stuff going on uh, that she was putting out there. Mm -hmm. That's forcing it, y'all. Some of y'all are just that messy that you want us to force it and throw something out there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just not going to do I'm not going to be a crash test dummy for you. Mm -mm. I'm not forcing anything. Right. If it, if she do something, it's worthy of a, of it's a, worthy of a video. Then we'll talk about it. But if it's just some shit like, some, I'm not I'm not gonna make my oh we need to do a Forever Twenty One haul thoughts and opinions. Like, come on, now, I'm not. Just like all of a sudden, I'm gonna speak on this a little bit in this video. Then we're gonna get on up out of here. All of a sudden, everybody um um. DMing us of this video of Chris girlfriend kissing baby CJ in the mouth. It's like again, y'all, we have we sit back and play our role and watch shit play out. We can't do no video on this right now. Right. We gotta wait to see what's going on. Right. We don't know. First of all, I don't know who the hell that was. Right. I ain't been even checking out for Chris. I don't didn't even know he had no girl. I, I see he had a girl, then he didn't have a girl, then they had another girl. Like it's like it's right now he at a point where it's different girls. You ain't know what the hell going on. Yeah, so y'all, we can't speak on that. We gotta wait back and sit back and see what's going on. Right. But um that's all we want to talk about. But this main video was about the DDG thing. Um yeah. like, I, I'm gonna say this. That thing was um that video was sad and shouldn't have been put out. That's something I'm gonna say. It shouldn't have been put out. I think he should have been. And 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 Doug, which is DG's brother, he gotta pull his son back. I really feel that. When DDG went to edit this video, he should have said, No, nah, I ain't putting this out. Yeah. Because he knew he was probably going to put out another video that same day or something right, else. So right. you could have just said. Even, but even if he wanted to put out, Doug should have took charge. Hey, man, don't put that out. Not with my son out hollering and crying and shit. Don't put that out. Because he was seen him hollering and crying like that. He called him on the and phone. He was on FaceTime just looking. Like he really had to go with them so he yeah. wouldn't cry. Yeah, exactly. That, that was crazy. But, um. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this one in the comment section below. Make sure you like, your comment, and you share these the videos. What? You gotta finish. With that being said, we gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace. <laughs>